This week marks Tosti's seventh anniversary and the grand opening of Travel Start's latest outlet. The restaurant has five outlets across the city of Lagos with its headquarters located on Awolowo Road, Ikoyi, Lagos. Toasty's main focus is on toasted sandwiches, salads, and other delicacies. Joining us now is the founder and CEO of Toasty's Limited, Eka Obaibena. Good morning, Good Eka, morning, and everybody. welcome to the morning show. Thank you for having me. Yeah. I'm really happy to be here. Yeah. How time flies. It really yeah. does. Uh, it really uh, does. 37 uh, years. I know, I can't believe and it. And thank you for this uh, uh, early morning coffee. Yes, uh, we, brought you, this. we brought you coffee. Well, and, well, it means and you and know toasties. our tradition. You know that everything has implications <laughs> <laughs> on, on this table. <laughs> so I'm sure more will come. Not just uh, coffee, you know, yes. all those <laughs> Definitely. sweet things. But Definitely. how has the journey been? Seven years. Yeah. How has it been? I mean, it's definitely been a journey. Um, it's, it's, we started in a very small uh, outlet that was kind of hidden away. We're trying to create like a, a, a food truck type of concept. So we had a little window and customers would come up to the window to place an order. So on September 26th, uh, 2016, we opened our window and sold a whopping one sandwich to our landlord. <laughs> and um, <laughs> but since then, <laughs> and then since then it was it's been a journey to try and build the brand and you know bring awareness. It's been mostly word of mouth. But I'm just grateful to God for where we are uh, today, where we have five outlets, over almost 60 employees, and we're obviously planning to continue to grow. Excellent. Seven years, five outlets. It's something that is worthy of celebration. And thank you for coming to celebrate with us here. Yes, definitely. You know, really fantastic. Look, looking at the array of dishes, you talk about one sandwich on your first day of opening. How many sandwiches today? Estim yeah, today do you sell to your customers? So today we sell about about 200 in a day. Mm -hmm. But um, we also have other uh, menu items. We have salads and you know fresh juices. And other items that we sell as well. So What's it's your been our uh, funny enough, the number one selling menu item is is not actually a toasty. It's our chicken avocado salad, mm. but that would obviously be because we have many toasties. We have about That's twelve toasties, and we have only about five salads. Yeah. So for the single selling uh, menu item, it is a salad. But obviously, all our toasties sell uh, <laughs> much more than that. And we've actually brought you some. Toasties today. Mm. If you would like to try, okay. Maria is okay. here from our one. outlet, and she she has brought us some some toasties for us, some of our top selling toasties. Woo. Yeah. So let me just pass. Ah, uh, a lot of good Thank stuff. Ah, <laughs> uh, good stuff. So good some stuff. of our most popular items. Oh uh, yeah, good Excellent. stuff. Oh, I must yeah. say, I like the weight. The package. Packages, yeah. Very nice. Oh, yeah, good. so we chose this paper uh, packaging. Oh, two for me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> for you guys to select, however you. <laughs> So the reason why we actually chose this packaging, and shout out to our paper packaging company who, who supplies our, um, our packaging. But we chose paper because of, you know, obviously uh, recycling and being um, conscious of that. Mm. And as well, it allows the sandwiches to stay for longer with the, with the air getting into it. Whereas if you have a plastic container, the sandwiches will get soggy by the time they're delivered. And our number one uh, mode of ordering is delivery. So we have to make sure we're able to cater to that. I mean, I'm so thrilled, you know, because prior to this, we've had many conversations on the side, like, yes. you know, as regards scaling and growing, and yes. I see the passion you put into it, and yes. congratulations Thank to you. you. Uh, what would you say, you know, is a strategy sort of like for scalability? Because that's always the problem, yeah. you know, and owing to the fact that you are crafting and creating this brand all by yourself. Mm -hmm. It's not like oh, you're buying a franchise somewhere. Mm -hmm. Scalability yeah. for you. You are Toasters. Toasters is you. Mm -hmm. All right, so, so to take it back a bit, last year, December, we actually moved from two outlets to five outlets. And that was kind of all at once. So some of the outlets are a little bit smaller and easier to manage. The number one lesson I've learned is about, number one, training your staff and training your team and making sure that you have consistent, like processes for consistency. We even do things like we have exams on it, where right now they're about to do their monthly exams to make sure that they are well up to date with all, our, all the health and safety uh, procedures that are required by the Ministry of Health. 
to make sure that the, the consistency of like the measurements of all the sandwiches so that you're getting every toasty you get is, is, is the same quality. So even making sure we're using tools that are ensuring consistency, because that's something that we saw in the beginning. If you're not consistent with your product or with the measurements, you might be losing money and not even realize it. Like when I first started, I would just throw on all the ingredients with my eyes. So just to give you some background, I, I went to culinary school and I worked in fine dining Michelin star restaurants before I moved to this uh, journey. So, um, so from there, I was able to work in kitchens and learn a bit about you know, all these processes. So when it comes to this, so we have to make sure that you're always you know, following your measurements and, and following your procedures across the board. Well, tell us about you know, special offers, because I know that special days have special oh, offerings. Right. Like Friday is for four for Yes, uh, so you know, <laughs> you know. Uh, Wednesday, yeah. there is a, a new package now. Yeah. Chicken wings, wings small yes. rice, corn, yeah. yes. and all of that. I stumbled right. on that. Yes. You know, if you could just take right. us the through reason, those days right. with, and how that right. is working out. So the reason we actually have the specials on different days is because our kitchen is not built to to take on all the menu items at once. We are only built to sell our sandwiches. So we can accommodate one other special on, on these different days. Now, we even had to, obviously during this economy, we had to, we had to like assess our menu because our menu was slightly bigger at the, at the beginning of the year. So we had to cut back some menu items so just to make sure that we streamline the processes and, the, uh, and make sure we're trying to give uh, people's, make people's orders as quickly as possible. So having too many, um, yeah, this is, uh, this is actually our first day, this video, and that's the very first sandwich I sold to our landlord. <laughs> In that wow. video. That was our first <laughs> <laughs> but but yes, yeah, so it's just uh, that's the reason why we have the different specials, and also just to give some variety to the market, because I know sandwiches are kind of in this kind of state are kind of new in this market, so it's something that we use to kind of also entice people <laughs> into the business, so they get to try it as well. Okay, so you guys are gonna have All right, a so I was gonna try. Say that. I'm sorry we're distracting you. No, with our attempt <laughs> to open. Oh, sorry. So you I want to say something, right? Oh, okay. You don't yeah. even get a shaki. Toasty. Yes. I thought this is brilliant. Yes. What are some? I mean, this what is Nigerian. It's shaki. It's tribe. It's tribe. Shaki. It's, yes. it's shaki that's written on it. Oh, yeah. really? No, it's, shaki. Really, it's authentically yeah. Nigerian. So it's toasties. So what? What other uh, types of toasties do you have? Yeah. Like shaki. So one. I'll actually start with the with the shaki sandwich. Okay. So that was our first ever uh, sandwich. That it's actually the sandwich that started toasties. So back then I had a food blog and I would experiment with different uh, African cuisines and. Yeah. And Western cuisines that try and fuse things together. It's called um, it's called biscuit bone blog, and hence the biscuit bone on the on, on toasty. So the shaki toasty is something we created at the time because I wanted to see a way we can make something that is popular and like kind of interesting in Nigeria and make it into a sandwich. But yes, we try. We have like an asun sandwich. We're trying to make sandwiches that are you know appeal to the local market. Absolutely. So we have an asun sandwich. We have a, a, a ram sandwich, and obviously we have other traditions. So we try and use local ingredients, obviously as much as possible. Does that work out Ooh. cheaper for you in terms of cost yes, of production? Yes, it reduces the cost. So that's that's the main reason for that. Yeah. Brilliant. This is really good. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's is, have... this is the ram sandwich. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I have um, prawn pesto. Yeah. So the prawn and pesto is actually our number one selling sandwich mm -hmm. as well. Uh, we created that in our test kitchen as soon as we. So uh, I'll take you back a little mm. bit when we. Uh, first started, so we moved to another outlet because uh, there was an issue with that first outlet. So we had to move to another outlet. And at that outlet, we actually didn't see a single day of electricity in that outlet. Wow. Simply because the, um, we were told that um, for them to connect our store, we would need to erect a pole to the, to the power grid. And obviously, yeah. we couldn't afford that at the time. So we would, um, you know, use... Uh, buy ice every day, and, <laughs> and that's how we would store the food. We'd make it fresh every day, we'd buy ice at the end, I would take it home with me. My family would be like, why is all this food in the fridge? Anyway, <laughs> so when we finally were able to have seafood, that was the first thing we did when we moved to our, our head office. We created a, a menu where we added our salads and we added this prawn and pesto sandwich, and it was kind of inspired by, we wanted to make sure we're making use of the ingredients we already have in our store instead of introducing other uh, ingredients. So our, we have a steak and egg sandwich that's kind of similar. So it was kind of like an inspiration that we did. And obviously, Nigerians like prawns. Yeah. So that's why. If I try to pinch my sandwich, my toasty, and I'm Congratulations once Thank again. You. Uh, when we uh, leave this set, we'll come downstairs yeah. for 
Yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> and I just want to, to quickly say that um, because of uh, this week is our our, our seventh year anniversary, but as well, Travel Starts. We're, we are partnered with Travel Starts in Nigeria. They are in an online uh, travel booking platform. Yep. So we partner with them because they're opening an outlet. Um, they've just opened an outlet in. Um, uh, MMA to where our, one of our outlets is Whoa, <laughs> located. Cool so so we're doing a giveaway for customer service week. Customer service week is October 2nd to October 6th. Okay. And we're doing a giveaway of 200,000 Naira towards an international flight and 20,000 Naira in Tosi's uh, credit so that you can really eat your way to your <laughs> to your <laughs> to your holiday. <laughs> I need to win that because it's touching my my, my phone and hey, my yeah. Congratulations once again. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Cindy. Seven years. Our yes. time flies. And we're looking forward to best. seven more and yeah. more than yes. that. <laughs> and more than that. Yes. Congrats.